Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have a very much interesting video for you guys today. So in this video I will talk about the MX Linux Fluxbox edition. You know that MX Linux is a Debian based distribution and currently we are running MX Linux 21.2.1 version and this is based on Debian Bullseye that is Debian 11. In this video I will talk about the MX Linux Fluxbox edition and we will compare it to the MX Linux XFCE edition, what are the differences and why you should use the Fluxbox edition. And you know Fluxbox edition is the lightweight among all the uh, flavors of the MX Linux such as MX Linux XFCE, KDE and Fluxbox. So Fluxbox is the lightest, that is the lightweight. So in this video we will talk about that what are the features in the MX Linux Fluxbox edition and in the old computers how much RAM it consumes. And also, is it better than the Antix Linux? Antix Linux also uh, is a great lightweight Linux distribution made for the old computers or old PCs. And I have already made a video on the Antix Linux. You can check in the uh, playlist or uh, in the i button there. So in this video, we will talk about that how much interesting this MX Linux Fluxbox edition. Is it worth it? Okay, uh, is it uh, really helpful for you? And is it user friendly or not? So all these things we will discuss in this video. So without further delay, let's jump into our main topic. And before doing that, you just do one thing, hit the like button, subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon. And also check my playlist, lot of interesting videos are there. Must check that. Okay, so let's start. MX Linux, MX Linux. Where are you, MX Linux Fluxbox? It's here, buddy. So you can see this is the MX Linux Fluxbox edition. Now, looking wise, it's very decent, very amazing. You can see this is the in the left hand side. That's a dock like thing, and here in the below, okay, in the bottom panel is there, right? And when you open up the Fluxbox, uh, MX Linux Fluxbox first time, so you will get the MX Welcome screen and here a lot of things has been included tools wiki some user manuals and all the things mm. also you can uh, uh, go to the websites of there and in the about section you will get all the information about this system you can see this is the mx linux 21.2.1 version the desktop it is using the fluxbox 1.3.7 and the mx fluxbox edition 3.0 Debian version 11.5 so this is the updated uh, Debian okay uh, Debian bullseye and uh, it is supported till uh, June 2024 and you can see uh, of course it's a uh, free software completely and uh, this is my uh, system specification uh, my processor etc you can see and you can see here uh, a full uh, system report that is the system info here so this is the mx welcome and uh, now currently i'm talking about the various things okay so uh, make sure that you watch this video till last okay now i will show you guys that how you can install this mx linux fluxbox in your system single booting and dual booting both of it i will uh, just demonstrate so first of all here is the installer so just click here single click is enough and it is now checking the environment of the system so it's checking just to wait for some time and the installer will be ready okay so you can see this is the installer so uh, this is the default uh, keyboard layout you can change that also but uh, keep it default going to the next now you can see basically uh, this is the uh, select type of installation now which type this is the regular installation uh, that means the entire disk if your device doesn't have any operating system and you are installing a fresh uh, system okay so all things will be wiped out and uh, only this operating system will be there so this is the regular install but if you have other operating system installed in your PC such as Windows or other Linux distribution and uh, you want to keep those so you want to uh, dual booting so just choose this option customize the disk layout this is basically you can uh, do manual partitioning okay so just uh, click next all right now i am just switching to the full screen to better understand now you can see uh, this is uh, my virtual box hard drive you can see 
32 GB and it is in the format GPT it is showing and uh, now I have to create actually three partitions for the UEFI firmware and if you are using uh, some legacy BIOS uh, system uh, that is only MBR that supports only MBR uh, system then you need only two partitions one is ext4 root partition and another is the Linux swap partition and in the UEFI firmware you need extra partition that is the EFI system partition uh, and uh, file system type is fat32 okay so and also in the in the side panel you can see a lot of information are there okay uh, you can read those things uh, to to partition all the things and what are the things you can basically check here right so currently uh, so just click here and hit this plus icon to create a new partition so sda1 now uh, the what will be the size of this partition suppose i am giving it just uh, click here and so in mb so almost 20000 mb 20 thousand okay it is actually uh, almost you you can say 20 gb of space and i am uh, using it for the root so this is my main uh, system partition so root partition and label it is selecting root no problem okay and the type now format it as ext4 it is the default also okay all these formats are supported but ext4 is the default and recommended for this system and also you can check the dump and pass one uh, you can check the detail about the what is dump and what is pass actually uh, you can see here you can see uh, dump means uh, uh, the partition is included in the backup and pass means the uh, partition order will be checked in the boot so okay so keep uh, all these things default now the second partition so hit plus icon second partition will be my efi system partition so just uh, uh, give 2000 mb that is almost 2 gb at least minimum you have to create it uh, uh, 500 mb right okay so 2 gb i am creating and it will be my esp partition okay this partition must be needed if you uh, are using the uefi firmware that is all the modern computers right so it is efi system partition this is the label and uh, format it as fat32 of course that's right and all things are done and also the third partition uh, is the linux web partition so i recommend it to 5000 mb that is almost 5 gb uh, you give in the swap partition okay so if you doesn't create swap partition no problem will be that but uh, it is recommended to do that because uh, a lot of benefits are there uh, of the swap partition okay uh, now it is actually uh, so it is it will be the swap okay and so the name is swap mx okay that's nice default things are nice okay so all these partitions i have to make for an uh, empty drive if you have some other operating system so don't actually uh, don't uh, modify that drive you have all these things you have to do in a separate drive uh, of the uh, uh, separate empty drive right okay so now uh, to uh, all all the changes will take effect after uh, we click next and here it is uh, showing you that uh, the mx linux installer will uh, now perform all the requested things okay and this is cannot be undone so all these will be uh, the the partitions will be changed and all the data in this partition will be removed so this is a warning and you can show details okay so these partitions will be created so i am not creating now you can uh, do that and uh, after that installation will start and uh, easily you can install the system uh, in your hard drive right and after the installation uh, you have to uh, create a username and password and that will be very much easy thing okay and also you can check my uh, videos of installation of some other operating systems you can uh, check in the uh, playlist so now you know that mx linux actually uh, this is a distribution actually with the help of the Antix Linux and some MX uh, repository. Okay, so actually you can say that MX Linux is built with the help of Antix Linux. Now, uh, what is the Fluxbox edition? Now you know there are three uh, versions of MX Linux. One is um, uh, XFC and that is and one the KDE and this is the Fluxbox. Uh, Fluxbox edition is the uh, lightest distribution. Okay, lightweight very much. Now how much lightweight? We will see that. So first of all, uh, I am going to the terminal here. And here I have to type neo fetch command. One minute. 
neo fetch command and this will you can you can see various things so you can see uh, currently i'm running in virtual box and this is the kernel 5.10 it is using okay so, uh, and uh, because it is debian based so stable kernel and this is the uh, window manager is fluxbox and this is the themes icons and all that and the ram usage look at the ram usage 660 mb okay so 660 mb okay 660 megabytes so it's very much lightweight you can say of course old computers can support easily all the things so this is made for the old computers right so this is the very lightweight distribution okay now uh, coming to some other things in this uh, edition so first of all uh, when you hit the windows key okay uh, or the super key so you will get this application uh, finder and this is actually this you can also click here so all applications and also you can search here uh, to find some specific application and suppose firefox so you can see firefox web browser and then hit enter and it will open up the firefox web browser for you okay so this is a very good thing uh, of the application finder and also you get uh, you are getting another uh, application finder okay i'm just showing you so this is the firefox you can see now you can see that here this is the application finder also so when you click here you can see a very nice this is a very nice distribution and all the menus uh, appearing here okay so all application you can see from here a lot of application has been uh, installed here but the iso file size is not that uh, big actually 1.4 gigabytes okay so very much less uh, uh, space it is actually okay so coming to the main things the accessories you can see uh, what are the applications pre-installed okay so bulk rename and con key manager okay this is the con key you can see here okay so the system info and the time it is showing and so con key manager is there you know con key toggle and also the calculator right you can see a lot of thing calculator gtk hash okay light dm uh, greater th settings okay okay mx updater midnight commander command line utility and onboard rockstrom text info and the main thing is thunor file manager this is very much uh, good user friendly uh, file manager uh, with a lot of features except burn burning utility okay and coming to the development you can see jenny is there and the graphics gtham no gimp is installed but of course you can install it from the repository no problem with that because it is debian based okay and this is the firefox in the multimedia you can say also mixer okay and the pulse audio volume control this is the webcam way to control your webcams and taking uh, photos and videos and now coming to the mx tools these are the main things of the mx linux so mx tools you are getting and you know uh, and i have actually already made a video uh, of LX, mx linux uh, xfc edition okay you can uh, you can watch that video just click the i button okay or check my playlist okay so basically mx boot repair and here the mx tools are really awesome okay so mx boot repair right the format usb so you can format the usb stick this is the device this is the software to mount the apple devices iphone ipads and this is kernel updater if you have some live, live usb of some operating system you can update the kernel and this is the boot options okay you can you can configure bootloader this is the boot repair if you have corrupted bootloader you can repair that mx cleanup so clean uh, the system actually and uh, make some space empty and this is the codec installer and some gpg keys fixing and the live usb maker okay so you can uh, create a live usb bootable usb of the system and uh, you can see mx package installer this is very much interesting i want to show you guys that mx package installer demo password and mx package installer is an awesome thing and this is actually based on the NTX Linux, of course. And so you can see uh, uh, the categories are really great. Okay. And from one place, you are getting the uh, most uh, useful and most popular uh, uh, things that is softwares you are getting from here. So in the audio, you can see a lot of things. Okay. Pithos MP and all that. Okay. In the audio section, in the browser, you can see a lot of browsers are there. Brave, Chromium, Falcon, Firefox, ESR, Google Chrome, Ribriul, MSH, Microsoft Edge is there, of course. And Opera, Pale Moon, Vivaldi, Waterfox, G3. A lot of browsers are there, okay. Just one click install, just, just uh, check that and, and click here in the install. Okay, so uh, the package will be installed. So easy, so easy. And coming to the, now for the children actually. 
now this is the package actually for the preschool children uh, this is the package and you will get the uh, 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 gammy and the g compris and tax paint for the primary uh, school uh, students actually you are getting this uh, these stellarium tax paint okay all the actually uh, just uh, uh, I want to mention that I have already uh, reviewed the Zorin OS 16.2 educational uh, edition. Okay, so you must check that uh, to, uh, to actually know about what are the educational apps are there. Okay, those are very, very useful for the students, right? Now in the scratch and the secondary, so secondary section, you are getting these applications. So this is a very much good package. Okay, this is newly installed. And also desktop environments, you can install Baji desktop or LXD or Mate, XFC, KD. You can install any desktop environment, right? And uh, development and docs, you are uh, getting Cairo docs and Plank. And also some file managers, but Thunor file manager is good. Okay, in the Antics Linux, you are getting uh, Rocks Filer okay and and uh, and P uh, pc uh, man fm these file managers you are getting in the antics linux okay some games icon kernels now come to the kernels and now uh, it is uh, actually running in the 5.10 kernel but you can also install a kernel uh, from these the latest uh, version of kernel here actually uh, debian 5.18 and the ahs version okay so more hardware support is there okay so you can install the 5.18 kernel also here right so you have a great choice for installing the kernels and now media center and all that messaging stuffs you can get okay so zoom pidgin so one click install that's very much interesting and also news reader you are getting here okay and the office package now actually office package is not installed here by default okay so you need to install suppose going to the office you are getting not uh, here the LibreOffice. okay so to install the LibreOffice, actually uh, you can install from here so LibreOffice uh, this and also backports version so you are getting some higher version and also some uh, this is the foliate this is the uh, pdf viewer modern and this is the only office or soft maker free office you are getting all the office stuff here okay and the printing screenshot now screencast you are getting the obs studio simple screen recorder here and uh, the and the theming and the torrent client utility in the utility you are getting a uh, much of things okay you can see variety this is a wallpaper selection and the virtualization virtual box you are getting right the gnome boxes and the wallpapers and window managers also you are getting okay uh, iswn this is the window manager of the antics linux actually and this is the flux box installed okay so mx and also in the mx package installer you are getting multiple repositories stable mx text repo debian backports and flat packs also so that's very much interesting thing okay now now you can see uh, in the settings uh, you are getting a, lo a lot of things okay so brightness system tray and all the synaptic package manager here is there okay and you can see a lot of things are here also so a lo lot of application has been pre-installed here right and now coming to the settings you can see this is the setting manager okay so this is the setting manager right and here you can see just maximizing this okay so this is actually mx linux fluxbox edition common settings okay so this is actually uh, the dock maker okay so the dock you are getting actually you can uh, adjust or uh, configure the dock okay so dock maker is there okay just clicking here and edit so create a new dock or edit the current dock okay so this is actually the dock uh, settings is actually saved in a, a script in a file okay so you can see this is the dock in the left hand side and you can configure it from here right so you can ad adjust the places and uh, you can also add some application right or remove or delete uh, some application okay so you can do that right so that's that's uh, also very not not too hard okay to do that okay so you can do that basically so this is mx dock maker okay this is application specifically for the mx linux so that's a very good thing and also these things you know actually tweaking and the, the back changing the background and all that okay uh, so i'm just showing you the backgrounds that is how much uh, what are the wallpapers here so going to the appearance actually okay in the appearance you are 
getting a lot of things so, so you can you can change the themes also so you can change the theme you can see customize look and feel so the icon theme you are getting okay so icon theme is this also some another icon theme is there i'm just showing you guys okay so also uh new mix new mix theme is there okay so if you apply then it will be applied okay you can see this is that the theme is applied and here in the right hand side you are getting the uh, date okay so you're getting the date this is the network icon okay and the, the clipboard manager and all these things you are getting okay updates now actually uh, what are the uh, difference between the mx Linux fluxbox and xfc edition now the first of all that uh, fluxbox is very much lightweight compared to the mx Linux xfc xfc version uses the uh, 1.2 or uh, uh, 2 uh, gb of ram but it is just using uh, six, uh, 660 uh, MB of RAM so almost half you can say okay so that uh, very much lightweight and uh, the ISO file size is very low and it can be installed in the old computers too okay so all these things are main difference but of course uh, MX Linux uh, XFC edition is more feature rich okay that's that's the thing and um, now coming to the difference between the MX Linux uh, Fluxbox and the Antix Linux because MX Linux is based on the Antix Linux. So the main difference, the what is the main difference? The main difference is actually uh, in the usability, that is user friendliness. Okay, uh, now the MX Linux Fluxbox edition is much user friendly. Now I have already uh, reviewed the Antix Linux. You can uh, just uh, go to the uh, go to my playlist and the distro reviews, Linux distro reviews, or uh, I am uh, giving it to the i button or so you can watch that video also of the Antix Linux review so now Antix Linux is actually uh, more lightweight than this uh, Fluxbox edition of MX Linux Antix Linux uses only uh, 300 MB of RAM and here in the Fluxbox edition you are getting 660 MB of RAM so more lightweight is Antix Linux of course so that's the advantage but I'm talking about the user friendly how much user friendly is the operating system now in the Antix Linux you are getting uh, the classic menu okay not not a menu like this that you can search some application or um, these things oh, there are there is um, there are classic menu sub menus are there so you must have to remember that uh, some application is is where is the application uh, in which menu and which sub menu so that's a, that's a um, important thing uh, so this is the uh, and here you can easily search an application here so anything you just typing and you can you can search from here actually okay so so here searching of uh, uh, application is is really really easy okay in the fluxbox edition of mx linux okay and the uh, second difference is the file manager okay uh, the antix linux uses the file manager pacman fm and that is lightweight but uh, lack of features of course uh, and i had faced problems to opening the other drives okay other than the uh, main uh, root drive okay so other drives are also but uh, i faced problems to access them but in the thunor file manager you can actually access them very easily okay uh, here you will get all the uh, all the uh, partitions you you can get here so thunol file manager is more feature rich so that's i love these things about the fluxbox edition and also looking wise the fluxbox edition is uh, really great okay in the mx linux uh, not uh, wall wallpapers are not that variety of, of things okay in the Antix Linux, you will not get uh, the uh, wallpapers, okay, uh, where you are getting here. So, I'm just showing you guys uh, the wallpaper. So, in the appearance and wallpapers, so a lot of uh, a lot of uh, great wallpapers you are getting in the MX Linux Fluxbox also, but uh, uh, these variety of wallpapers you are not getting in the Antix Linux, okay. So, that's uh, a great advantage of the Fluxbox edition of MX Linux. So a lot of good wallpapers are there. You can configure those, and it's very, very much, uh, very much interesting, of course. Now all the other things uh, like the that Antix Linux also is a Debian-based distro, and MX Linux is too. So no, uh, no difference uh, with that, and also uh, the same software, MX tools, or the installed uh, are the same. So basically, the main difference is that uh, MX Linux Fluxbox edition is more user.
user friendly and feature is uh, compared to the uh, antiques linux okay so that's the thing okay so that's all for today's video okay if you like this uh, review uh, and comparison uh, hit the like button and if you are new to my channel then of course subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon and also you can check my playlist a, a lot of interesting videos are there of course you love it you just look at those videos okay so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye